Welcome back to Diving Shorts. If you don't already know, this is a series of short videos that takes you to really cool dive sites in and around the state of Texas. Except I'm a liar because today we're going to Florida and we're going to be diving Buford Sink, which is a spring fed cavern system that is deep in the heart of the Chasahowiska Wildlife Management Area. This is the start of a vast cave system, but we're going to be sticking around the cavern zone, which is the area that still receives a little bit of natural light. And of course, I have my camera with me, so let's go take a look. Now, one of the reasons why I was excited to dive this spring is because it's kind of off the beaten path and not very touristy. I think one of the reasons why is because there's quite a bit of distance to carry all of your gear from the parking lot through the swamp over to the spring. It's a long haul, but once you make it here to the end, it's very worth it. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that there's not just a really eerie feeling that overtakes you as you descend into this really dark hole. But as you get deeper, you can't help but to be overcome by the curiosity of what's on the other side of this darkness. As you get to the main opening, you really start to see how this cave just kind of opens up into a massive chamber. It's almost like the space is big enough that you could even fit a jumbo jet inside of this cavity. Hanging out of the top section of this cave, we take a second or two just to make sure that our buoyancy is correct. We're also taking a look at the topography in the limestone, as well as the multiple cave entrances that you can see up and down the wall. Some of these cave openings go a really long way and are really difficult to navigate and also go to extreme depths. You can see that they're marked here by these guidelines as a way for the cave divers to navigate. We don't dare enter because going into these openings without the proper equipment and the proper training will result in our certain death. And of course, when we're 90 feet down, our bubbles have a long way to go back up. You can see them coming through these cracks here on this limestone slab called Alligator Ledge. I think I'll leave it to the imagination as to why they call it Alligator Ledge. In this cavern, you could go down to about 130 feet and still stay within recreational limits. But on this dive, we're staying around 100. So we spent a lot of time down here at a depth close to 100 feet and we're starting to run out of bottom time. So it's time to head back up to the surface. But in my opinion, up here in the natural light is where all the best photographs are taken anyway. And 
And that's a wrap to another video. If you want to see more photographs on this location, visit my Instagram, scottbauer79. I'll have it linked in the description below. If you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe. I can't wait to see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.